Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Beyond in Africa and right now I'm in the capital town of Uganda, uh, Kampala city and you wouldn't believe what just happened to me my friends. Um, I'm here in the city today to get a chip or SIM card uh, to use in a phone so that I could operate properly in uh, Uganda and Africa. So what happened, I went to phone company number one, which is MTN, which is based in, it's a South African company. So when I showed the, the company my passport, because you have to show the passport to verify your identity and so, because SIM card is serious business here in Africa because they use it to receive money and to send money to other phone users. So the MTM, MTN customer personnel told me that uh, St. Kitts and Nevis is not in the system. They, so they don't recognize our passport or they don't recognize our ID is not there in the system. So I asked, well, if they don't have all the countries in the world there in their system, they said no. Um, so it's not there. But they said I could go across the road and go to Airtel, which is another um, phone company in Uganda to try and sign up there. So I said, okay, let me go and check Airtel to see if they would um, accept me. So I gave them my passport now. And at first the person said, this can't be real. This is not a country. What's this? They never heard of it. Um, they didn't know it was a real country. It was when I showed them my visa to Uganda and my um, stamp at Gatwick Airport in London and my stamp at um, the airport in Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta Airport in Kenya. That's when he said, oh, okay, let me check it out and so. So he started to search and then he said, ah, oh, he never heard of it and so. So then he put it in the system and whatever he did in the system, they got it registered. So I got a SIM card for Airtel company. So I asked them a question, well, is Airtel a European company or African company? The agent, one of them didn't know, but the other one said it's a European company and it's all over the place. So I said, ah, okay. But then when I went outside now, after I finish everything with my SIM card and so, put money on my phone, everything is working. I said, let me research this Airtel to see where it's from and to my amazement Airtel is an Indian company my friends an Indian company so they imagine that an African company MTN do not recognize St. Kitts and Davis however an Indian company recognize it and what I find the difference in both of those phone companies is that MTN seem to have a lot more red tape. It's very hard. It's very hard to set it up and so on. There's a lot more process and so on. But when you're going to Airtel now, simple. You just walk up to the customer person and they just bam 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 bam. Done. Easy. Give them a passport, they take your picture, bam, easy. Finish. MTN had more customers in there. MTN is the building is bigger i'm going to show you in a while the building is much bigger uh, more modern and so but they said airtel is bigger in uganda they have more outlets and they're bigger but the airtel head office is smaller and simple but mtn you can see they spend a lot of money and it's sophisticated it's like a bank and I'm going to show you in a while, um, just on the outside of both. Both of them are right next to each other. But as you go around Uganda, you'll see only two phone companies, Airtel and MTN. So they're all over the place. Wherever you see Airtel, you more sometimes you see an MTN. But I have seen more Airtel in Uganda. But um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the 
where the phone company is so that you could see I'm gonna turn around my camera now and walk towards there it's right next to me so have a look in front of me now where I'm gonna show you this is where I'm at in front of me yeah. um, just got some chapati from here and I'm gonna show you this is a uh, where I'm at now this is the Airtel right here this is Airtel this is Airtel and then across the road here is MTN see where the yellow yellow um, sign is service center MTN it's right there <laughs> it's border here rushing by <laughs> yeah it's MTN so my friends yeah, you have this is a mall as well that's it that is in and um as you can see airtel is much smaller this is the headquarters you know airtel is right there um mtn is much in a bigger fancy building and um uh, up this way in the heart of the town there are jack food here yeah lots of jack food my friends but um yeah all right brother yeah so as i was saying um you could compare the two um airtel is smarter with business because they accept more it seems like more people from around the world less red tape um they have more outlets but mtn is bigger um in terms of modern buildings um but MTN is South Africa, is a company, phone company from South Africa and Airtel is a phone company from India. So uh, maybe if somebody from MTN is watching, make sure to get all the countries in the world, my friends, because you just lose out on a customer today just because you don't recognize think it's a Nevis. <laughs> yeah, but an Indian company, Airtel, recognize it so my friends um, I'm gonna catch another bus home in a while uh, let me try to have a seat here I gotta eat ah you wanna sit brother? you go sit there yeah I'm gonna catch um, a bus home because I can't take on the border border right now but I gotta ask somebody the directions my friends but I'm in the heart of the city and um, ah, finally I got my phone I'm just gonna show you in front of me so you can see the traffic got traffic going up this way I'm in a back, the back area the back area of uh, Uganda Kampala Uganda my friends ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try to find I'm gonna try to find um something better to eat as well because I just had some chapati um Rolex they call it from down there famous dish with eggs and uh like a a bread thing they call chapati. I just had that. Uh, but that's just a little appetizer so I'm gonna go and try to find uh, another place to eat but but my friends um, find another place to eat but I can't record um, in the streets because it's very busy very very busy and um, I've been warned that my phone can get snatched somebody go snatch my phone and run off and if that happens it's gonna affect me greatly because I, I use my phone for like uh, YouTube and other things so I can't afford for that to happen there's a lot of people a lot a lot of people and they're all around so if somebody snatch your phone and run off definitely you won't be finding them my friends definitely won't be finding them but I just thought that I would share that message with you uh, fascinating uh, experience here but another thing I'm gonna mention is that 
with the phone companies in Africa. The phone platform is very, very modern. I maybe need a whole video for that, but the phone system is very modern. They, if you have a phone number, you could receive money from another person with a phone number and you could also send money to anybody who have a phone number without the use of a bank. You don't have to use any bank. You could send from mobile to mobile. So the mobile phone, um, the SIM card and your network is like a bank. And I find that very fascinating because you could eat, you could also withdraw cash. Let's say somebody send me some money and I receive it on my phone. I could go to any agent in the village, anywhere I see an agent um, of Airtel or MPM, and I could uh, I could uh, get money. I could just tell them I need to cash this hundred dollars now, and they would give me. Um, so you could be deep in the village, and somebody send you some money. Uh, you got money on your phone. You could just cash it. And that's a masterful uh, innovation. I think the Caribbean would work well with that because in the Caribbean, like Sink It's and Nevis, we have a lot of uh, issues with ATM machine not working and bank lines and all of that. So if a phone company like Flow or Digicel would develop a platform like that, mobile money, without the use of a bank, that would cut down on a lot of the hassle people get and give the banks of course more competition so flow and digital if you're watching uh, make sure you get that done get mobile money because in Africa that's that's, that's, a, that's a major thing most people in the villages here don't even have a bank account they don't use banks they just use mobile money because if they do small work for somebody somebody could pay them right there by just texting the money to their phone and uh, that's amazing innovation my friends but I'm gonna sign out for now um, this is beyond in Africa it's around close to four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in the next video live and direct from Kampala Uganda See the MTM sign there.